Good evening. Um, I'd like to call the meeting to order. Begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'd ask the secretary to please call the roll. Kathy Adams. She's off morning page. She's present, I saw her. Thank you. Kathy Adams is here. Kim Burns. No present. Kim Burns is not here. Jackie Mikowski. Present. Elizabeth O'Connell. She's absent. Absent. Steve Polowski. Here. James Smith here. Robert Sullivan. I make a motion to approve the agenda from the last board meeting. Do I have a second? Um, Jackie, is a second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passed. Um, approval for tonight's agenda. Um, I need a motion. I'll motion. Jim Smith, second is Bob Sullivan. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We have accepted tonight's agenda and the approval of the minutes for April 20th. Um, I would ask that Mrs. Segman to please give us the CEO report. Good evening, everyone. We have one resolution for this evening's meeting. The resolution of the Board of Trustees of Philadelphia Academy Charter School to approve the painting of the high school gymnasium by Oz Painting for a sum of $15,375. The high school gymnasium, stage area, and both boys and girls locker rooms will be painted as part of this project. The renewal process is still evolving and is not expected to be completed until the end of June with recommendations made by the Charter School Office to the School Board of Philadelphia. We have completed all of our requirements for the renewal process thus far. This afternoon, we celebrated our first annual middle school athletic banquet in our recently renovated cafeteria. Over 200 people, including our student athletes and parents came for an unveiling of three new sports banners located in our gymnasium and dinner in our cafeteria. Senator Jenny Dillon was the featured speaker for the evening. The banquet closed with the presentation of student athletic awards. I'd like to congratulate our coaches and their athletes for their hard work on behalf of Philadelphia Academy. I know everyone really enjoyed the afternoon. Thank you so much for your time this evening. I attended the sports banquet and the Senator did an excellent job in the presentation to the students. The students were there's a lot of kids, about 25% of our population are involved in athletics in the school. Um, so it was very nice to see them and their parents present. And as I said, the Senator did a nice job. And Mrs. Segman and our staff did an excellent job in, in getting everybody together and getting the things set up. So thank you very much. Uh, Mrs. Simmons, uh, is she giving us a ray or she's going? Uh, I'm, I'm not giving Mr. Plastic. Okay. Doug, Doug's going to do the uh, both reports then? Yes. yes, sir. Okay, go ahead, Doug. Good evening, everyone. The high school report first. Congratulations to the following students who placed in the PJAS Science Fair competition at Penn State University this past weekend. Joshua Kam Kamatala took second place award. Juliana Chang took a second place award. Kaylin Weiss took a second place award. And Lachey Gatlin took a first place award. Keystone testing began this week for most of our high school student body. Students test in literature and algebra this week and will test in biology next week. We utilized digital testing this year, which did present some challenges, but we overcame them and the students showed a nice effort while testing. Our celebration of Arts Gallery Night will be held tomorrow night. This event will showcase work from our high school and grade school students in the disciplines of art, digital art, technology, photography, and music. 
The students have created an amazing artwork this year, which they cannot wait to showcase to family and friends. Course selection is underway for the 2023-24 school year. Students are currently meeting with administration, the special education team, teachers, and the college and career counselor to select courses for next year. Preparations are underway for our senior commencement ceremony, which will take place on Sunday, June 4th at 12 p.m. in our high school gym. Congratulations to the class of 2023. That ends the high school report. For the grade school report, it's that time of year again in which we begin the culminating events to celebrate the hard work and academic success of our students. Our student council home run derby is tomorrow, May 19th. The derby will be a competition that will include prizes and snacks. State Representative Martina White visited Paxlum Thursday, May 11th to honor our fourth grade student, Isabel Rogers, who won the 2023 There Ought to Be a Law Contest. An assembly was held for the entire fourth grade and Isabel and her family have been invited to the state capitol in Harrisburg for a presentation. Bowman School are hosting Family Day at the Phillies on Monday, May 22nd. It is a 6.40 p.m. game as the Phillies host the Arizona Diamondbacks. Wednesday, May 24th, will be our, our annual field day, a day of enjoyment and camaraderie with food and festivities held both indoor and outside in our yard. This is a very exciting day for our students. We would like to thank Ms. Shelby Solman and Ms. Darlene Allison for their efforts in designing and orchestrating the event. On Thursday, June 1st, we will be holding our family movie night. This year, we will be showing high school musical outdoors in a drive-in type atmosphere held in our playground at the rear of the school, snacks and refreshments. Kindergarten move up day is Tuesday, June 6th. Quickly thereafter, two days later on the 8th, we will be holding our kindergarten open house to meet all of our incoming kindergarten students for next year, who will be members of the PAX class of 2032. <laughs> our eighth grade class will be bidding farewell to PAX as they embark on their secondary educational journey with their traditional breakfast on the morning of June 7th, followed by their final dance that evening at the FOP Lodge Hall. Commencement for the PAX class of 23 will be Thursday, June 8th at 6 p.m. Finally, on behalf of myself, the high school, and the entire grade school community, we would like to thank all the members of the board for their time and dedication to make this another successful year at Philadelphia Academy Charter. End of report. Thank you, Doug. Um, I would ask for uh, Janine to please give us a special ed report. Sure, good evening. The Special Education Department is currently preparing for ESY, which will have be held six weeks, three days per week. Elementary and high school ESY will have a weekly will have weekly themes to keep students engaged and excited about continued learning throughout the summer. Both groups will have various opportunities to improve skills in the areas of mathematics, reading, science, independence, and social skills. At the high school, our transition coordinator, Mrs. Steele, and the life skills staff are working hard planning and preparing for our 12th annual transition dinner that will be held on May 31st at 5 p.m. We will be honoring five students who will be exiting special education in order to pursue post-secondary goals, uh, which include community college, employment, and future training for adult services. We will also be uh, honoring four students who will be graduating and returning as student interns. Congratulations to all of our students who have worked so hard to become as independent as possible in order to live a fulfilled adult life. End of report. Thank you, Janine. Um, could I have Tom Horton, please, for the Transportation and Facilities Report? Yes, you may. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. On our facilities at the high school campus, as a result of a weekend of heavy rains earlier in the month, a few areas of the high school roof were identified that needed minor repairs. Uh, those repairs were accomplished earlier this week. Uh, at the grade school campus, after that same weekend of heavy rain, we were happy to report that the extensive brick and clean work done in the courtyard during spring break held up perfectly with no water intrusion identified at all. The generator at the grade school has been installed and fueled. Yesterday, a pre-check was conducted in order to prepare for the first startup and testing, which we expect to take place sometime next week. And at both campuses, our landscaping partners at Martin Brothers Landscaping have been doing spring cleanup, weeding, and will be planting flowers in the gardens in the next couple of weeks. In transportation, work has begun on our summer routes for ESY and summer camp. We expect to communicate details to parents sometime in early June. 
We have also begun the work of assigning new students registered for the 2023-24 school year to bus and van routes, and we expect to have final, final transportation information available to parents by mid-August. And finally, our state, our annual state trooper bus inspection is scheduled this year for July the 19th. And that is the end of the report. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. Steve, Kim Burns is present now. Um, Judy Mark. Kim? Hello, Kim. Okay, how are you? This is Burns is present. Okay. Got you down, Kim. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'm going to ask Brian to please give us a, the Director of Security a report. Good evening, everyone. Traffic, buses are remaining on schedule and traffic appears to be flowing safely. For school safety, a gate was installed at the driveway entrance of the grade school to prevent unauthorized vehicles from entering overnight and over the weekend. Police have been given a code to the lock should they need to enter and respond. A fence was installed around a generator by the main entrance to help prevent accident or vandalism from occurring at the grade school. LED lights were installed in the shed at the high school. This will provide extra illumination in that area. Monthly drills. Since the last board meeting, we successfully conducted a fire drill at the grade school on 516-23 uh, and at the high school on 428-23. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I would ask Mr. Taylor to please give us the uh, finance and budget report. Good evening, everyone. We have the financial statements for the 10 months ended April 30th, 2023. As of the end of April, the school's cash balance was $4,968,098. Our receivables were $3,265,507,507, of which $2,229,040 were due from federal funds. That's a combination of title funds, IDEA, 21st Century, and ESSER, primarily ESSER and title funds, um, which should all come in by the end of the year. The liabilities were $2,088,198, which primarily consisted of our payroll pool for the summer and retirement liabilities of $1,985,386. For the 10 months ended, April 30th, 2023, our revenue in ex exceeded expenditures by $1,716,509. That's compared to his planned surplus of $1,754,492, resulting in an unfavorable variance of $37,980. So we're off about $38,000 from plan. However, the primary reason for this is our capital improvements are higher than planned by 501,000. So if we just had the capital improvements without anything else, we'd be 500,000 above our below plan. However, our school district revenue is running higher than planned and our food service income is running higher than planned. We're offsetting the higher than planned capital improvements. Any questions on the financials? No, thank you. We have the you want me to do the budget? Do oh, yeah, please. So we have third version, version three of our budget. And just uh, real real quick, we're still budgeting on 1,154 students. Our revenues went up 145,000, almost 146,000 from version two at $25,247,539. Primary reasons for this, we finally, we received our original version two, used the final allocation of of our title funds and just estimated on where we're going to be. Uh, this week we received the preliminary allocation from PDE for federal funds and that went up about 75,000. We added a health and safety grant for about 31,000 and our, again our food service revenue has gone up higher than I expected so that's 40,000. So that's where we got the 145,000. Our expenditures increased um, from version two, actually they went down 56,870 to 25,098,217. And what we've been doing, uh, the administration and myself is fine tuning some of these areas. We're still looking at staffing. We're looking at, uh, you know, what the potential increase is. Uh, we received good news from our health insurance providers that our health insurance rates will remain flat, which is excellent news. Uh, 
And basically, we've been fine-tuning some of the areas that we did in version one and two, as we see one where we're winding up for this fiscal year and what our necessary needs are for next year. We've been updating some of those numbers. So with all that being said, our uh, our surplus will be approximately 149,000 for version three. And again, that'll change for next version, which will be the one we approve. Uh, we're still trying to nail down where we'll be with the school district revenue. So they haven't announced the rates yet. And that's uh, version three of the budget. The third one, the budget will be current June. Yes. When do you anticipate those rates? Probably the day after we vote on the budget, but <laughs> we're hoping before then. Okay. Any other questions, comments? There's no old business. New business, there's one item I'll bring up, and that is the June meeting is going to be moved from the third Thursday to the June 14th. Let's put it back one day. The reason for that is there will be board, me board members that will not be present. So in order to facilitate the budget uh, uh, vote and the personnel vote, all the things we have to do, that will occur on June 14th. Then, okay? um, there's one resolution tonight, and Anna Marie already uh, brought it up in, in her uh, initial uh, talk. Uh, the resolution of the Board of Trustees of Philadelphia Academy Charter School to approve the painting of the high school gymnasium by Oz painting for a sum of $15,375. Any questions on that? Can um, somebody make a motion? I think she oh, I'm sorry, Kelly, can you have a question? Are you no, 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 I'm good. My, okay. I'm yeah. okay, Kim's going to make the motion then. Okay, do I have a second? Sullivan is a second. Uh, <laughs> questions, any comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 No one's opposed. The resolution passes. Steve, can I say something? For sure, the new please. I wanted to mention um, Miss Kay and all of um, grade school staff and students who did fundraiser for the alumni students that happened last Friday. It was the kids had such an enjoyment, both of mine who are alumni now, and I just can't thank the school enough for keeping that going. Uh, it really meant a lot to them. They stayed well over the time expected, and the teachers that just put endless amount of time, it really shows, and I am so grateful grateful for PACS for a lot of things, but that truly means a lot to my family as well as, you know, everybody that participated. So I appreciate that. Okay. Thank you. Kim. Um, any other comments or questions? Uh, do I have a motion to adjourn? Jackie makes the motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Kathy. Kathy Adams has the second. I just got it. Any comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you for all you've done and have been doing. And uh, we will see you in June. Then. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you and good luck with the end of the year. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs>